it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title I'm going to be trying my best to recreate Megan Thee Stallion's look in the WAP music video here's a picture our girl looked good and I was really inspired by her makeup and she just looks so freaking good and I was really inspired so I was like it's eight o'clock but I'm like let me just put this makeup on because I don't know where to go but girl the jewels the rhinestones it, it's the rhinestones for me like but I thought it was so cute. I love the fact that she actually put rhinestones on her inner corner. It may be hard to see because of my highlight shade. But I actually really, really like that. And I put these earrings on earlier because I, I was like, I don't know, maybe it'll match. But I really like that. So if you guys want to see how I got this look really easy and affordable, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my brows. I'm using my LA Colors Brow Pencil. This is in like medium, I think. And I'm just gonna fill my brows how I normally do. She has really pretty brows and I always like how they look. They really fit her face and the way she does her makeup as well. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna take my Cetaphil moisturizer just a little bit and apply that to my skin. You gotta be moisturized, you feel me? So for my eyes i'm gonna start off by priming them and i like to use the tarte shape tape concealer this is shade light medium and i'm gonna take that and just put it on like this i'm gonna just take like a flat brush and blend it out so i'm pulling up a picture i zoomed in on one this is our girl so it looks very it's a very neutral eye she has gold shimmer with a wing but the outside is neutral, but it doesn't look like um, brown. It looks more like pinky. So I'm going to take this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brush in JH33. It's like a tapered end brush. I like this brush for like outer corner. And I'm going into the Morphe 35M palette and I'm taking the shade FOTD, I believe. And I'm going to kind of like fan it out on the outer and kind of do like so. I'm gonna like tap it on first and then kind of blend. I'm actually gonna kind of bring that across my eye, like in the crease, cause it seems like that is kind of like the crease shade too. So I'm gonna do that. I literally was like watching reaction videos like I was watching Zach Campbell's and I was just watching like other ones as well I'm watching like Cardi B's interview and I literally have the freaking song stuck in my head so I'm gonna take the shade Vampy Vixen which is like a lighter mauve tone and I'm gonna put that kind of above that color just to kind of blend out just lightly nothing insane Now I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm going to use the same concealer that I used to prime, which is the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to take this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush. And I'm going to cut the crease just a little bit. Like nothing insane. But you'll kind of see. I kind of like the way the shape of the brush is. Because I feel like that's the shape that I want to go for. So that's why I wanted to use it. Even though it's a little fluffy. But I think it should be fine. Seems she kind of did something just like that. Especially for her eye shape and her lid space, she kind of just did like that. I'm gonna have the picture like over here so I'm not like looking down the whole time. Okay, now that that shade is on, I'm gonna take that shade FOTD. I'm gonna mix it in a little bit with Power Slayer, which is like a deeper purple, but more of FOTD. I'm gonna take that on the end. Actually, no. I'm gonna take more of Power Slayer, which is the deeper purple. And I'm gonna kind of use that to deepen up the outer corner and also use that to kind of like blend the concealer in with that shade, if that makes sense. She's patchy. <laughs> take the morphe 35v palette and go into the shade addicted which is a similar shade and try and pack that on to see what that does because the other one wasn't doing it too much for me 
And I am going to take the black in this shade, which is Little Black Book, and also put that on top. Okay, see, that was a lot, but we'll blend here. I don't want it to be, like, too intense. I just wanted to deepen it a bit, but here the hell we are. So now I'm going to go back into the 35M palette, and I'm going to take this really, really pretty gold shimmer shade. It's called Pop Star. I'm going to take it on the end of just this brush. It kind of looks like this. And that's going to go where we basically cut the crease. Oh my god, that's like a gold that has some green in it. Wow, she's very freaking cute. This is like more of like a gold that has a little more green. But I like it. I'm gonna take the end of this brush as well. It's like a ooh, it's like a angled brush, and I'm gonna kind of like blend in. Okay, so on top of that, I went into my Adeline Morin X Tarte palette. And I'm taking the shade Beat Bop, which is like a deeper brown. And I'm applying that because anyways, it seems like the outer corner was just more subtle. Okay, so I like how that is looking. So, okay. So for foundation, I'm taking the CoverGirl True Blend um, foundation in shade T10. Take just a few pumps in the back of my hand. I'm taking my new beauty blender, even though I used her earlier, but she's still new. My beauty blender is a little damp, nothing like too serious because it dried, but I kind of like when my beauty blenders are like this to work with. So, what did you guys think of the music videos? I think that the looks in the music video was like the most sickening part. Like, I literally saw Cardi and Megan's look and I was like, I want to like attempt to do it because they looked so good, so beautiful. I also really liked the fact that they brought in like a whole bunch of female rappers and female artists and showcased them and kind of used their platform in a sense to be like, yo, like, I think I'm dope, but here are people that I think are dope. And I actually really like that. I like that Cardi um, did that in her video. Because it is Cardi's song featuring Megan, right? Or is it like them, like just like Cardi and Megan? I don't know. But it's they song regardless. And um, I like how they gave attention to like other female rappers that are dope in the game. It would have been dope to see Flo Millie in that. But I was just happy to see that. Like... To see unity within the rap, the female rap community. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape in shade Light Medium. The same thing that I use for my um, lids. I'm really trying to make myself snatch, so I need to actually try. <laughs> but like I was saying, I'm really it was, but it was really dope for them to con collaborate and then also like bring other female artists like to the forefront with them i i was really happy to see that and also the fact that they collaborated in general like i honestly didn't know if that would like happen um you know i was watching the um i was watching the interview that cardi b did on apple music and you know she was saying well, this is my opinion. I think that people put female rappers like against each other because they want to see beef or whatever. Like, for example, with her and Nicki Minaj now. Do we know the full story? I'm not freaking sure. I don't even know the tea on that. But, like, you know, so it was really good to just see, like, all the female rappers that are really popping right now and have some type of name for themselves be brought into, like, the same video with, like, just good vibes and good energy. And I also like how in the interviews she like specifically named the female rappers and she told them like what she really likes about them and their music and what they bring and i hope that also like brings people to like open their mind into listening to like more female rappers and making female rappers more mainstream i feel like because even though i feel like it's normal but i feel like this is the most that female rappers have been just like really there and female artists i feel like in general because normani was included as well obviously and rosalia like i feel like this is the time where like 
female artists are just really kind of taking over like the certain game like hip hop, rap, and like I really like that. I'm taking my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JHL7 brush and I'm using this Beauty Bakery flower setting powder in shade Cassava, which is yellow. But yeah, it's really dope to just see female artists like supporting each other. Like, I don't know. I did mistakenly say Nicki Minaj instead of Megan Thee Stallion in my reaction video, which you guys should check out. But I wouldn't mind that either. Like, I really wouldn't mind that after years of just like certain things going on with them, even though, yet yeah, it was on Motorsport, but like their own song. If it was good, they'd do very well, like on the charts and just in general. And it just bring like a whole different type of style to the game, I feel like. I don't know how to explain it, but we waiting, you know, one day. I'm gonna take just like this big fluffy brush. It's from e.l.f. It's the Total Face Brush. And I'm gonna wipe some of the powder away. Now, I'm not wiping it like completely yet because I'm gonna contour and I like to do that with powder on my face. I don't know, I feel like it gives me like a good estimate of like what I wanna do. I don't know. But I'm taking this Wet n Wild brush. It's an angled face brush. And I'm taking this Beauty Bakery Neapolitan Bar Face Palette. And I'm taking the bronzer. And I'm gonna bronze. And even with Megan Thee Stallion, I just love her as an artist and a person in general. She seems so just genuine and like I really like, I not only like her for her music but for who she is and I don't know. There's just something about her I really like so I'm happy to see her also like building that bridge and like you know kind of bridging that gap where like oh my god no I have to be the best female rapper on top or whatever it's like you feel me. I don't know they're just like they they just want to come together like I don't know like even when she does song with Nicki Minaj like that's one of her inspirations I believe and so you know it's just dope to see how did y'all feel about that Kylie cameo though so many oh my god she's literally trending on Twitter right now I think because people are literally like what was my girl doing in there I don't know I feel like she was honestly if I'm gonna be quite honest with you I'm just gonna like use the total face brush and like blend everything but if I'm being honest with you I feel like she was put in there because I think that they were trying to just represent like females and like different aspects of not only music but I think maybe because you know she is some type of pu public figure to people I mean that's kind of how she's famous I guess for being like a public figure I don't know but um also you know she did I don't know I you know what I honestly I don't have a freaking guess. I, I was trying to make a guess. I don't have a damn guess. I don't know. Did I mind seeing her in the video? I'm gonna be honest. No. She looked good. I was just hella confused. It's like, since like, you know, let's say we're glorifying the rappers and just artists in general in the video, it really would have been dope to see Miss Nikki walk in that hallway in that cheetah print or that leopard print or Beyonce or somebody that, you know, is even like an old school rapper that look like it would have been really cool to just see because you know i don't know but i didn't mind seeing kylie i was quite shocked just because i thought that the store the rumor that was going around with what recently happened with megan the stallion was over kylie but then i was like maybe it um was filmed prior but then i'm like wouldn't she had like wouldn't she take i don't freaking know man these are my guesses y'all let me know what y'all guess down below but people are not happy to see that but i don't know but it would have been good to see somebody like maybe like that was just very very dominant in the music industry or something um, on that part but i didn't mind seeing miss kylie i mean she looked good i'm really gonna go ham on like the setting powder right here because i really want to try and create like you know some type of illusion that like I'm snatched even though like quarantine has been getting now I'm gonna take the blush shade in that palette and go ham but I really don't think I would have liked this I don't know the song is not bad but I always find myself like today I find myself going back to the um video to listen to the song I I downloaded it but I find myself going back to the video because the video was just so flame like and I think they did a really smart they made a really smart decision by releasing I believe they've released it at 12 a.m um the video at the same time the song dropped because I don't think it it would have gotten hyped for the fact that 
Megan and Cardi collaborated and now I'm using the highlight shade. See, three for one. Go get you her. Um, it would have gotten hype for that, but I don't think it would have gotten hype for like the song itself. It's not bad, and like I have it stuck in my head because like I've been watching the video, but the video is literally the reason why I think I like it so much. Because I don't know if I can just sit there and just like vibe to it. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not bad, but I don't know. It's like the music video really freaking sold me. Like really, really sold me. Like Megan, of course, snapped. I mean. Did we expect anything different from Miss Megan Thee Stallion? Like honestly, she's she's up there. Megan had some flame winged liner. Like I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, create that, but she, girl, come do my makeup. Like let me stop. I'm gonna take this Elf winged liner. It's in jet black. It's my favorite liner or the liner that I just use because I have it. And I'm gonna just line it. So I'm gonna kind of try and angle it the same way as the way my eyeshadow's going. So, yeah, but she had some sharp. My girl had it good in the video. I don't know why I did it so long, but okay. Hers was definitely not as long, but we're gonna just go with it because I did it already. I actually like this wing. Doesn't look too bad to me. <laughs> Y'all are probably like, bitch. Okay. We yeah, have the girls. They looked phenomenal. So, 10 out of 10 on that. But I'm gonna just use my e.l.f. liner, the same one, to create, just to emphasize my beauty marks a little. I like to do that sometimes. It's nothing crazy, like you can barely see it, but I just like to do it because I feel like sometimes it looks like really pretty, even though you barely see it. So it's like, whatever. Yo, I really like this. I'm Megan. You snapped. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty mascara and I'm gonna put that on my lashes. Oh my god, I just got excited. I totally forgot about like the fun part of this makeup look. I think she has black liner actually in her waterline. Oh wow, look, without, with, which one do you like better, with or without? For lips, so my girl, she has a glossy, nude, but very pretty, I feel like it's rosy-ish lip. I wanna take this Essence lip liner, it's in shade Soft Berry, and I'm gonna, girl, line my lips with this. Oh my god, my eyes are watering. I'm not crying, I promise. And then I'm gonna take this Lorac Los Angeles um, lipstick in shade Foodie. It's this like pink nude. Wait, this girl is cute. And then we're gonna make her glossy. So for gloss, I'm taking this Elizabeth Arden clear, crystal clear lip gloss. Oh my god, I almost forgot my lower lashes, girl. <laughs> What are you doing? I wanted to add a lash, but guess what? Your girl ran out. So this is that. But this is like more of like the natural, neutral version, you know, without the lash. But their lashes were popping. So yeah, somehow I thought I was done with this look. I'm like, oh my god, thank you guys so much for watching. Whatever. I filmed an outro. I filmed an intro. And I forgot the most important part. The rhinestones. Girl are my rhinestones these are from amazon um, i can link them down below for you i use this in my sweetie inspired ponytail video and they work very well i actually really like them they're just self-adhesive girl speak they're self-adhesive rhinestones and i like them so she has three she has one at like almost the tip of the wing one on the outer corner and one right in the inner corner and i forgot to put an inner corner highlight wow all right better now i'm gonna take these rhinestones so i'm gonna do that i'm kind of scared to put it in my inner corner i don't know why this is like a new sticky it's new sticky new sheet i kind of want to start with the inner corner so i'm gonna take like a really really small one 
And I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. I don't have tweezers, so. Uh -huh. Y'all probably can't see it, but she's there, I promise. I wouldn't lie. So these are the rhinestones I have one on my inner corner, one just right on my outer corner, and one kind of at the tip of my wing. My wing is a bit longer than Meg's in the video, so I put it close to the end, not all the way at the end, but these, this is the final look. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, go stream, wop, and watch the music video because it's flame. And their looks are sickening, like I've said like a thousand times in this video. Subscribe to my channel for more. Let me know things you guys want me to react to or if there's anything that you guys want me to recreate, any other looks for the video maybe that you guys will want me to recreate. I'm not sure, but let me know down in the comments down below. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below. Subscribe Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.